Aaron, thank you. All new for you this morning. A North Tonawanda woman has been trying for almost two years to get money that she says New York State owes her. That is until seven problem solver Michael Schwartz got involved. I had nothing but problems, nothing but problems. And it started at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020 when Janine Kornacker lost her job as a truck driver. She says she went months without seeing her first check due to an unemployment filing issue. They never filed it. She tells me she finally got paid in September of 2020 and each week that followed. And then all of a sudden my checks just stopped. Kornacker says her husband was getting unemployment checks to their joint account, but not her. She says she called New York State unemployment 60 to 70 times each week, Very only to be either disconnected or never hear anything back. It got frustrating. Kornacker says when she finally did get through, a representative from state unemployment told her someone hacked her account. I said, what do you mean I got hacked? Kornacker showed me these letters she got from the state in the mail. They said that they paid me all these payments and that um, the rest went to this uh, account number at Wells Fargo Bank, which I don't go to Wells Fargo Bank. Didn't you tell them that this is not my account number? Yes. This is not my bank? Yes. What'd they say? Not their problem. She says she's missing around $12,000. How important is that money to you? Uh, very important. Has that kept you from doing anything? Yes. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it put me in debt because I couldn't pay my bills. Kornacker contacted attorneys, detectives, state lawmakers before turning to seven problem solvers. My girlfriend goes, why don't you call that channel seven problem solver and see if something could be done because this is ridiculous. It's my money. So last week I emailed the state. I got a reply back in less than 15 minutes asking me for Kornacker's information. And great news, Kornacker tells me on Thursday she got a call from the state apologizing for the inconvenience and that she would soon be getting a check for $12,000. Brings me to tears when I think about it because I'm that one that helps everybody and no one wanted to help me with you, so I do appreciate it. Now, it's still unclear exactly what happened to Kornacker's money, but the state does tell me unemployment insurance fraud is a constant threat. A link to report it on WKBW.com. Michael Schwartz, 7 Problem Solvers. Oh, great job, Michael. I was really hoping that would work out. Now, if you have a problem you need help with, let Michael investigate. He can find you some answers. Email him at 7 Problem Solvers at WKBW.com. He really works hard to try to get you those answers and get those solutions for you.